I mean, wow, uh, there's power here. Hey there everyone, today we are driving a very unique car on our channel, it's been highly requested, this is a 2008 Infiniti M45, let's fire her up, it's just the way she starts, OMG. This specific car has 217,000 miles but it does seem very clean on the inside, let's go take a look outside and go take her for a quick spin. Now looking for this car has been such a challenge. I've literally dug up all the car websites, the auto traders, the cars.com, the car gurus everywhere. And I found one black M45 like an hour and a half away from me. So I drove to film it. And ironically, it was just such a terrible experience at the dealership and the car itself had so many issues. It had a constant beeping sound. And I will of course, attach some uh, clips of that if you want to see but it was just such a hassle and i i was i was like no i cannot post such a review on my channel because the car was just absolutely terrible and so was the dealership any infinity experts please tell me what is this sound this beep just driving me nuts but here of course soft touch material very nice trim automatic power windows and let's take a look at this gigantic enormous rear seat it's very comfy in the bag there's plenty of space I love the incline we also have this um, I don't even know how you open this but I guess somehow infotainment entertainment system look at the cup holders here yep some storage space materials feel amazing and as you see over all these years they still have kept up really nice it feels very pleasant to be in this cabin let's take a look at the trunk um, I guess there's got to be a bun here yeah <clears throat> so we have a trunk pretty spacious I'd say pretty good size and of course let's go look at the most important part of this Pacific Infinity the engine this is the V8 I think this is the 4.5 liter same as the FX 45 I got to film that car too a while back yeah the 4.5 liter now all I really care about here is just that this is a healthy unit that's all I care about I don't care about you know the interior condition or any of that honestly doesn't matter to me as long as she just runs well and is healthy that's all I I care about nothing else is important here okay but let's hop into the driver's seat surprisingly the AC still works it's actually pretty cool in here which is nice we got all our cup holders storage ventilated seats too slidable armrest with a lot of space light advisor and the lighting still works sunroof lights love that navigation system and surprisingly the navigation system in these infinities is so good for its age we got different climbing modes upper auto vents very nice navigation let's do a wiper test horn test the backup camera is okay it is a little bit hazy but not bad you can still see whatever you got to see all right well let's do this we got a floor mounted pedal <laughs> and of course all these random lights come on 
slip, I guess what that trend that means, I don't know. Transmission slip, I don't know what this is. Oh well, we'll have to make do with what we have. So even if this car is not in its best shape, that's fine. I mean, it pulls great. That's a, I mean, I can tell you that right up. What is up with you, lady? Come on. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. All right. Seems to pull super well. No, no complaints here at all. Alignment seems to be good. It's a nice riding car, so very smooth, good suspension. All right, got to check, make sure the brakes work. <laughs> oh boy, this is an experience. You never, you never know what you get with these older cars, honestly, because they can be in great shape, they can be messed up, they can have problems. Does this even have a sport mode? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, wow, uh, there's power here. There is definitely power in this Infinity. It is moving. Surprisingly, with all the lights on, it's still, <laughs> it can still hustle beautifully. Good. Oh boy, that was good. I love it. Oh man. I even had a feeling we were inching uh, a bit forward. He did, he did get the jump though, so. But you know what we got to do? We got to do some zero to sixties here. We got it. We got to test the real actual performance of this M45. This definitely feels way quicker than the Infinity that I got to drive before the blood, like the, the other M45 that I test drove. This actually feels way faster. So I'm glad about that. that is exactly what I've been looking for. A good, healthy M45 with a good engine. U-turn now I want to get to that light half a mile down the block that has a nice straightaway so we can do a pull and check it out three two one Ooh, nope all right all right three two one let's go good first try we did 0 to 60 and wow 
Hmm, interesting number. Three sixes. Zero to 62 in 7.08. And then we did the 1 8th mile at 9.64, it's 76.58. So definitely this car is healthier than the one that I drove before. Three, two, one, let's go. Alrighty, that should be good. So 7.2 seconds 7.28 seconds 0 to 60 with a ton of wheel spin um, 40 to 87.29 one eighth mile let's see 10.09 at 73.63 0 to 60 isn't that far apart but at the same time it's really good three two one Okay, so we did zero to 60 again. 6.63 seconds. All right, I think we gotta do one more time. All right, 6.0 to 62 and 7.06. One eighth mile, 9.57 at 75.49. And the 40 to 86.87, quarter mile, 14.74, 94.72. And here, you can see the numbers here too. All right, let's, let's do one more try, all right. Let's let that car through. It's really hard to get good traction off the line here. It's just so hard. We're gonna do one more zero to 83, two, one. Let's go. Let's hope we can do better this time. 6.32, yes. All righty. And we did it. We did our best, yes. We did our best. Zero to 62 in 6.35 seconds. No wheel spin. Zero to 62 in 6.79. One eighth mile at 9.37 at 75.84, at which again is a very consistent result as you saw. Um, 40 to 86.87. And the quarter mile, 14.53 at 95.19. So, not bad i think when this car was brand new it was rated i think like a 14.2 or 14.3 and you know 217,000 later it's still running similar times like how amazing is that you know i think i think that's something to be proud of for infinity um especially in a hot day like this today i don't know what gas is in here but it's in here it trapped you at 95.6 so here we go Ugh, I guess the S5 is, is out to hunt some cars. I mean, I gotta say though, this Infinity here, it moves. Like actually the brakes feel good, I feel like. Whew, oh man. But this is a cool ride. Let's try the, the manual mode. And then once we uh, do a little bit of driving, we can just start wrapping this up. Manual shifting feels good. Third gear feels very instant.
Well, let me tell you what. This Infinity is still got it. It's still got it. Of course, it would have been cool if you could, you know, line up right with us right here and we could do a proper honk off off like 40, 50. I think it would have been a good race, honestly. I think he would eventually, you know, get the lead, but I, th I think it would be much closer than everybody would think. And those S5s, they, they have good performance, very good performance, but if we put them off 40, 50, this is real wheel drive. It's got its benefits. No drivetrain loss. A V8, and that's a Quattro. So that, that would be a good matchup, honestly. I think, I feel like off of 50 to like 100 or something, that would be a great race, very close. I gotta tell you, I like this M45. <laughs> what a blast to drive. This is a blast of a car. Mm, yeah, no, I'm not turning around there. Honestly, it's really fun to find new routes and new roads where to drive on because I feel like there's a lot of videos that I've done where we, you know, I do all, all the same routes and, you know, I like to vary it up a little bit. I think it's fun. How many gears does this have? So four, five. No, this is five gears, so this is the final gear. At 60, we're at almost 2,500. Look at that, that is cool, that wagon. That's a rear wagon. Well folks, that summarizes our test drive for today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all liked it. I sure, I think it was an awesome experience. I do love this car a lot. Um, let me know what you think about it. I think it was really cool. 